Okay, that comes out at 14. Yeah. Has anybody bought any of them? Yes, I have. Somebody bought a couple of dollars. Yep. They got the one I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Dad gum it. Oh man. I got some more in it. I got some more too. What else you got? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see. Yeah, they got the Indiana Jones one, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Tag going. That's the one I wanted. Oh. Do you know what they look like? person that bought it? Mm, he was, I don't think he was from here. I had a mail out to him, so he wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like telling you last night, I'll take all of them. Yeah. Yeah, because um, I want, really wanted that game. Mm, let's see. So I'm, I got most of these already, and I didn't have that one. Um, Okay, that comes out to 14. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so there you go. Alright, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, man, I'm kind of bummed out. Uh, I really wanted that Indiana Jones. But I just saw, I just saw it. A couple of days ago? Yeah. Wait for you and like message you. Right. Yeah.
Just the one VHS. Oh, it's yes, no. Ten cents. Ten? Yeah. I thought it said twenty-five by there. I was ready to give you a whole quarter. <laughs> there you are. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. He says 60. That's right. All right, man. There you go. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. it. Yes, sir. Okay, folks, taking in these two Xbox 360 controllers and the free Switch game I got last week, trading them in towards Luigi's Mansion 3. It should be about 40 to $45 worth of credit. Okay, YouTube, had a pretty good week of pickups. Found a few things that I can definitely add to the collection. Found a few things for resale, make some money. And we'll go ahead and start with the stuff that is for sale. I picked up three Blu-rays, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is the Criterion Collection Blu-ray. I picked it up along with Blade Runner uh, Collector's Edition and Batman vs. Superman. I had uh, Batman vs. Superman Digital and finally found it um, at the pawn shop for two dollars as well as Blade Runner but Fear and Loathing on Las Vegas Criterion Collection sells for around twenty dollars Blu-ray so I've got that listed that will recoup my money on the Blu-rays and add a little bit of profit found a couple of uh, NES games uh, this lady listed on Facebook Marketplace a whole bunch of NES games and I asked for more pictures, and she sent me a picture, and in one of the pictures, I saw Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the Ubisoft version, which goes for around $100 or more. 
And so I was very excited. I asked her, hey, do you have anything else? She sent me a couple of pictures of some Dreamcast games. I said, I definitely want those. And you can hear in the video where I'm really kind of bummed out to find out that when I get there, she had already sold a lot of the good games, such as the Indiana Jones. Uh, there was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. There was Contra. There was Super C. There were a lot of good titles that I could have bought for $3 each and flipped and made some good money and been able to have kept Indiana Jones for free. However, whoever bought those games ahead of me, and she stated that she sold them like two or three days before I had even messaged her, they did not um, inquire if she had any other games. And she did have some other games, some Dreamcast games. I'll get to those a little later. But the three NES games that I picked up were The Legend of Zelda. That's always a good bundler with any system. Then I picked up Maniac Mansion, which is a really good game. And Castle Quest. I've never heard of Castle Quest, so I'm going to have to give that a try. Uh, it's not a very expensive game, but well worth $3 for picking up. Then, uh, towards the end of the week, I picked up an N64 bundle for 60 bucks. The system has already sold, and the three games are still available. We do have Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. The label is kind of worn on it, and it's a little bit ripped on the back. But it is, uh, it is up for sale, and I've got it definitely a lot cheaper than, uh, than price charting prices. Uh, because of condition. Pokemon Puzzle League, that's around a $14, $15 game. The World is Not Enough Gray Cart Variant. This also comes in a blue cartridge. So if you are going after uh, the variants for your N64 collection, this is one to pick up. I, if I found uh, one of those uh, Dreamcast games was Resident Evil Code Veronica. This is a duplicate for me. So this is up for sale. And then I found a Game Boy lot, a Game Boy Pocket lot with three awesome Game Boy games. Uh, we've got Aladdin, which I already own. And Donkey Kong Land 2 with the manual. I already own this complete in box, so that's a duplicate for me. And then we got this Game Boy Pocket case. That is up for sale. And the Game Boy Pocket itself has already sold. And then we've got... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Coming Out of Their Shells Tour VHS. This goes for around $10 to $12. I found this at a thrift store for $0.10. Cents. Uh, there were some other Turtles VHS, and I probably could have bought like all of them and lotted everything together and made a lot more money. Uh, however, I was ready to get out of there, and uh, I just went ahead and bought this one and went on about my way. At Goodwill... I found this very good condition, 1979 to 1981 Garfield uh, telephone made by Tyco. It has been tested. It does work. I found this at Goodwill for $5.99. These sell on eBay anywhere between $40 to $45. Um, I've got mine listed for $37 plus shipping, which comes out to right around $44 and some change, right underneath $45, bucks, but it's in very good condition. Um, the stripes on the on Garfield uh, have not been worn off or scratched off. His eyes work. His mouth is in good condition. He's just in really, really, really good condition. So I've got him listed for top dollar price. And then we'll, we'll get on to the things that I'm keeping. I did have some packages that came in for some, some games that I ordered. Uh, we I finally got Corpse Killer in. This comes from Limited Run. I ordered this back in June, I believe. And it finally got in today. Uh, today being Saturday. You'll see this video tomorrow being Sunday. But this came in on Saturday. And I also ordered the third uh, release from Hard Copy Games. I already have their first two releases. And this is Elliot Quest. Elliot Quest is a side-scrolling action-adventure platform game. Um, looks, looks to be a lot of fun. Another game I'm keeping for the collection, I found this at the pawn shop for $2, is Guilty Gear Judgment. I did not have this PSP game. And it was complete. 
And um, so I was happy to snatch that up. Also, you saw me trade in for Luigi's Mansion 3. I traded in the two um, Xbox 360 controllers that I got at the yard sale last weekend uh, for $5, as well as Dragon Quest Builders that I got for free at the pawn shop last week. Uh, that traded into around $40 to $43 and some change. And out of pocket, I came out $18 on this. Um, and then yesterday, which was Friday, I picked up Aladdin and Lion King from Walmart. Um, I've been wanting to pick up this game. And I made $25 extra dollars. This uh, is being sold at Walmart brand new for $24.88. I had an extra $25 in my pocket, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, which is not full retail because if you go to GameStop, they're selling it for $30. And uh, so I went ahead and snatched that up. Maniac mentioned the Castle Quest. I already went over that. Uh, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. I did not have this game. Got the manual, and I kept the manual for Aladdin. It also has the Donkey Kong instruction booklet for Super Game Boy. Um, keeping the little manuals for the Game Boy Pocket and whatnot. Probably should have bundled those with a Game Boy Pocket. But the pickup of the week. And folks, if you do not know this, you're about to be schooled. Because I myself did not know this until I asked the lady, Hey, do you have any more games other than these Nintendo games that you have listed for $3? She showed me the two Dreamcast games that she had. Resident Evil Code Veronica, I'm very well aware of. I already own it, I've already played it, and that was just going to be a double for me, and for $2.50, that's an easy flip. However, this, this game right here, Speed Devils, there are two variants for this game. There is the cover that has the devil face between the words Speed and Devils, which is the mass-produced version of this game that does not go for a whole lot complete anywhere between 10 to 15 bucks however this version right here the clean cover where there is no devil on uh, the cover of or on the the front of the manual goes for over four hundred dollars this is extremely rare this is a walmart variant of this particular game and so when I typed in Speed Devils, um, after I asked this lady what else she had, uh, she showed me this variant right here, and I looked it up, and I was like, holy crap. This is the rarest item that you can own for the Sega Dreamcast. And I was able to pick it up for $2.50. Am I going to sell it? Probably not. That's going straight into the collection. One, I don't own this game. So I definitely want to keep it, and I don't have many Dreamcast games. And two, well, it's the rarest, um, the rarest Dreamcast game. So it's definitely staying in the collection. But there you have it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, by all means, hit that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.